Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Big Blue House. La la, my little beavers, my little librarians. What's the dealy? What's the dealy? Oh, ooh, I just got pumped for you guys. That's that's good. That's good. All right. Um, I think you're starting to process something. Libra, Libra. Um, I don't know what that is, but I want it. But I want it. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like you're trying to process something. So. Let's see what's going on. But I think the outcome's gonna be, I think it's gonna have a good outcome, okay? Yeah, Man of Cups, Ace of Wands, Libra, Libra, for our love. Now it's November 5th, for our love, Libra. All right, but you need the strength for a certain scenario and you got that Man of Cups reverse, it was just upright, okay? so. We're a little negative right now when it comes to something, um, or we're feeling a little restricted. All right, you're trying to master something. You got this, oh, what is this? Okay, you have the Six of Cups reversed. All right, so there's a little bit of sorrow here. Um, somebody's not expressing. Somebody's not strong enough to tell somebody how they feel about something right now, but somebody, looks like somebody owes somebody an apology too, um, or money. Somebody's trying to master something. I hope you're not being tricky. I hope I don't smell trickiness there. Libra, Libra, Libra. Free yourself. Damn, release your energy. True love. I think you... you you're truly in love, but I think it's, oh, I hope this is not an obsession thing I'm feeling. I hope this is somebody just not expressing. Somebody needs to decide very, very soon what's going on. I don't need any more cards. I don't need to keep digging. I feel like somebody just broke up with somebody or somebody left somebody or is thinking about leaving somebody, but somebody's holding a grudge. Somebody's holding on to something. Um, somebody's holding on blindly to something too, okay? Um, that may have nothing to do with the read. That's just what I see for one thing right now, okay? Um, somebody needs to release all this negativity, this holy shit, all this negativity, the toxicity, like, gotta let go. Somebody has to let go of something. And in a certain situation, there's no going back to something. For some, clear as day. I'm smelling manipulation all over that. Tell me about strength reverse. Leo, Leo, Libra, 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 Libra. I said Leo because I'm looking at the strength reverse, which is a Leo, so I think you're dealing with a Leo. Tell me about strength. Libra energy, please. All right, it's the Empress. The Empress needs strength, all right, to, to deal with their past. That's huge. You got the five of pens reversed, so there's coming out of money issues, coming out of feeling lonely, picking yourself up for some type of situation. Tell me about the man of cups. I think you had to leave the man of cups, to be honest with you. Tell me about the man of cups, the man of cups. All right, so this is deceit. It's a seven of, of swords, but some it's, it's coming back at you. So I don't know if this is like someone's juggling. This deceit, whatever this is, is coming back at you. Right now, I feel like there's manipulation. I hope it's not you. Tell me about this. 
page of pence. This is where I'm feeling the manipulation. It's almost like, hey, I'm going to pretend to love you. I'm going to pretend to get to know you. There is something underlined here. Yeah, see, at the bottom of the deck, it was clearly decide what it is, okay? And you're not making that decision. But it's not telling me if there's manipulation or not. But here we go. We got the lovers. It could be more than just a bonds. One more, please. One more. One more for the page of pence. This fast, so I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarian. We have two stories here. Says somebody needs to completely let go of somebody, and then there's another scenario where the universe does want you to get to know somebody. Tell me about getting to know. I gotta see where this is taking me. Getting to know this person. You might be dealing with somebody who is a parent and you're just like, do I want to put myself in that situation? Am I capable of doing that? Yeah, see, this is a two of cups. This is a beautiful connection you have with somebody. But I'm telling you, some people just broke up with somebody. Some people have to release the past to have this connection. This is somebody brand new. But you need to release the past. And I think the past is going to come back. Or what you're going to do is self-sabotage yourself. Don't do that. Tell me about the Six of Cups. So it's coming out of toxicity. I, I think you already left this behind, but the feelings are here again. I don't think it's a cappy. I think this was a codependency. This was an addiction. This was toxic. This was temptation. This was lust. There was something here that's gone that I think is going to return. But you have something brand new coming at you. So unless you let go of this, you're not going to get this. It's time to take control back of your life. Tell me about free yourself. You're the empress. Control that power. The daughter of Pence. All right. So it's like you're not putting effort into it. You're not accepting an apology. Nothing. So to you, it's like you don't want to make a decision to go backwards. You don't want to put the effort in. But here's the deal. You don't want to put the effort to let go of the negativity either. You'd rather have the negativity than to face the problem. And it's funny because when this goes like back and forth like that, but it's only showing half the staff. Because it's my pendant and there were a couple other reads I was like, oh, it's destined. But because it's only showing half, I don't know what that means. Is it because you didn't make a decision? That's symbolic. I don't know what it means to you, though, okay? But it's only half the star right now. You need to put more work into you. Three of hearts, three of swords, but you're coming out of that. So this is, you're not, you're having a hard time letting go of the past, the negativity. Tell me about release your ex. I mean, they're stressing to you. You want this new love? You want something to come back around for the positive? You got to let this go. Okay, like I don't see the 401. So this person, I don't know if they supported you or there was something here though. See, the Father of Swords reverse. You're not even talking to this person. You haven't let it go. I think you had a family with them. There was it's some type of a, a little bit of obsession here. You gotta let it go. This is not true love, but I think you think it is. Tell me about true love. For others, if you want that true love, you gotta get let go of the past. For others, I think you think that this is that type of scenario, and it's not. It's it's like it's an illusion to you right now. That could just very well be dest I mean, not destiny. That could very well be an Aquarius, because I saw an Aquarius already at the bottom of the deck. So it's the Eight of Pens reverse. See, somebody that I think you truly love, but it's not true love, but you think it is. This person doesn't want to put the evidence. The eight of pence reverse. They want nothing to do with this. True love. One more. True love. 
the mother of cups, okay? So you're very over-emotional when it comes to this because it's reversed. Like, you, you're not understanding. You're very, very emotional. You're trying to nurture something. You're trying to get something to come back. You're going to self-sabotage yourself. I think you're dealing with a straight-up Aquarian. Tell me about the star. Because this is a half star. All right, so it's the, it's the mother of wands with the ten of cups. So this is your happy. But I think you think this is your destiny. And I don't know if it is. I think what I think is that you want this connection. I don't think it's here like that anymore. And I'm sorry. Mother of swords reversed. Like, not accepting. Like, Mother of Swords Reverse is a super biatch. Tell me about this Two of Cups getting to know each other. Tell me about this. I think you want this connection. It's the High Priestess. Ugh. The Daughter of Swords Reverse. Seven of Wands Reverse. There's outside influences here. There might have been a third party. Maybe for some. We got a few threes. Tell me about the high priestess. It's like you know there's that three again. Tell me about the high priestess. It's like this is tricky because I think you think it's destined and it might be. It could be the chariot. It could be moving forward or letting go. Tell me about the chariot. I don't understand this one little pile, but it's not for me to understand. Somebody doesn't want to put the effort into this, but you do. All right, it's the lovers. See, somebody walked away from you, or you walked away from them. I got to get this card. And it, somebody's not accepting something. Somebody's not, your intuition is way, yeah, it's like your intuition's telling you, but you're not accepting. I'm a little confused. Somebody was ungrateful. You're waiting on a message because something was unjustified. You're waiting for somebody to have that strength to confront you or vice versa. I think this is something you really truly want, but I think this person walked away from you. We got Grove. So your heart is broken, but you come, it's getting better. Okay? Like it's... But I feel like you think there's true love. I think if you release something, true love is going to come to you. And it could be this person, but I don't think it's going to be right now. Okay, it says, now is the time to apologize to anyone that you have made harm or make friends whole again by choosing healing over pain. Choosing my beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you're a wondrous strong point in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect, yet imperfection is perfect. If you're hurting now, it will pass. If somebody else is hurting... Please try to watch over them. This is time for you to take care of yourself. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially when the heart has been wounded. I think this is somebody's straight up past. I legitimately have three different stories here. So if this was confusing for you, I'm incredibly sorry. But we legitimately have three different stories. Somebody just walked away from their past and let it go. Others need to in order for something new to come in. And others are in the illusion that this person is destiny. But I, you know, is do you guys have a connection? Yeah. But there's still something you're not seeing. So I'm sorry. This is a confusing read for Libra. Let me see what the moon cards have to say. Because right now they understand you're heartbroken. But yeah, you're coming out of that. So... If you're still heartbroken, it's going to subside, okay? But you're still not letting go of the infatuation. You're still not letting go of something. It's one of the IONs. You know what I mean? Like delusion, illusion, option. It's one of, it's confusion. It's You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not real. Someone is in la-la land. So you're just going to have to decipher who's who because this is not one story. 
It's tough when it comes out that way, okay? Libras, you guys tend to find yourselves in, in this type of complication. Again, I-O-N, all right? Like complication, I think that's what I'm gonna label the damn video. All right, your commitment's being tested. Nothing will come from this situation. See what I'm saying? Like, what the F? Oh, I am incredibly sorry. After this, I'm going to throw something really, really quick. Your commitment is being tested. There can be some challenges coming your way. It's the universe's way of testing you. Do you actually think it's possible? Do you believe in it? Do you spend your time thinking you're, it's too big of a dream or not big enough? Or are you uh, spending your time believing so much that you're putting it in your head? Okay. So it says, showing some, some, showing some commitment right now, whether it's towards yourself or somebody else, there's always a desired outcome. But what you believe is true is only true for you. So just continue to believe in yourself right now. Don't believe what it's saying is don't believe in an outcome. Believe in yourself. You need to commit to your dreams. Okay? And and go towards them with confidence. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. I said that to somebody. I said that earlier. It's like you're halfway there. It's something. Oh, the half star. See, it's like you're halfway there. But you have an image in your head. You got to wipe the slate clean. Wipe, wipe your chalkboard clean. Okay. It, it is time for you to recommit to yourself or someone or something. Something we just need to realize. It, it was more of a want. This is confusing for you guys. It's confusing me. No matter what, when you pull this card, you need to see any dramas as a stepping stone. It can be a time where you need to stay strong through this storm. And right now you're not staying strong. And that's the why that strength is reversed. But they're giving you the empress. Like you can be strong. But others, this is all bullshit that went down and it's coming back around. And then for others, need to straight up walk away. Nothing will come from this situation. Nothing comes from this matter. This situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news depending on what you're asking. For example, if you're worried about something or some something, whatever it was, this card can be taken as a sign that there's nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any client, any kind, including a new relationship, this is a sign to adjust your expectations or change so you get a different outcome. Remember, this card can predict what you are currently creating, both your behaviors and your beliefs. See, I feel like this is like delusion for somebody. Like you're you're like someone's in la la land. Like this is the way it's going to be. And it's like now nah, you're setting yourself up to fail. But they're saying if you change your outcome now, there's a small chance. Virgo had a, a similar read. Nothing like this, but a similar read where if you change how you think about something, it can switch, which is weird because I had the half star. And you have the star here. See what I'm saying? Very, very strange. Okay. Um, let me see if I'm just going to pull a couple cards. So this could be one person's scenario, but I'm feeling different energy. Okay. But that could be all the same energy, energy that just happened in different time frames. Okay. Really just depends on your scenario. But this is, I, I was truly, guys, there was a couple different scenarios here. Even if you can put it into one, then that's just how your life has gone with that type of routine. Okay. Um, but for some, it, it is time to let go. It's, it's a straight up delusion that somebody has this love for you. <clears throat> Virgos. Sorry, you must be dealing with Virgos. See? All right, my little Libras. Holy shit. And before that, I said Leo. Okay. 
okay? But I think that's just the strength that you need. Um, but I feel like with you and Virgo, you guys are going through different things, but kind of have the same outcome. So ultimately, I don't know if that's that manipulation I was looking for, but ultimately, they're saying there's still a slim chance you can have something, okay? You need to change your perspective, though. You need to, to wipe that slate clean. All right, somebody's holding on to guilt. Libras, Libras. Somebody's holding on to, to guilt, okay? Um, and it looks like it's the Empress right now, okay? You know, you're coming out of the feeling lonely. This, see, here we go. This could be the self-deception. You know? Again, I feel like we have two different stories here. It's like, come on, universe, this is not fair. I'm trying to clarify one. Regardless, you can be pretty confident, okay? Like, remain in this empress power. That's why they're giving you the empress, okay? Like, you know how to be the empress, so act like it. Don't pity yourself. Don't feel guilty. Own up to your shit if you need to own up to something. And get yourself out of this energy. You need to change your perspective. It's like you're holding a wand like, oh, I can have anything I want. No, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Another scenario, please. Another scenario. Knight of Wands. So you're either dealing with somebody who's in and out. You're definitely dealing with somebody who does not want a commitment. See, no investment. They don't want this investment. Or well, this is you. You just don't want to invest time into something, you know. The Nine of Cups. You're too busy dating, daydreaming, la-la lands. This is not wish. See, this is la-la lands. This is not a wish, ladies and gents. This is straight up la-la lands. Like you're trying to manipulate something. Tell me this nine of cups. This is not a wish come true. It's just not. I think some of you are having way too much sugar in your diet, please. And I'm not saying that in a weird way. I'm, I'm legitimately telling you the truth. The natural sugar is not good for you. I know, poor, but it's natural. Nah, it's not good for you. That flipped completely. It's the wheel, all right? You can repeat this wheel or not. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys saw that flip, but it spun, all right? You, some of you just want to date and have fun. Some of you are in la-la land. Some of you are about to repeat that wheel. And some are about to have a new start. See, we do have two different stories. But this is still straight up la-la land, all right? You're coming out of feeling like um, entrapped. See, I don't think you're appreciating the options anymore. I, I think this is somebody's past. This is where that regret is coming from, okay? And others just want to date and be free. But I, honestly, I feel la la land right there, okay? Um, somebody is drinking way too much. Way, 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 way too much. There's definitely... Um, an alcohol issue here. All right. <clears throat> Somebody also wants to balance out the scales. There's no new style. I have two women now. Somebody's not putting the effort into nobody. All right. Temptation does not exist in this person's mind. <clears throat> Again, see, because I'm backtracking. Somebody's backtracking here. Backpedaling. All right, somebody's going to repeat the wheel. Somebody thinks it's going to be all good with the sun. The wheel's reversed. It's not. It's not what you think it is. There's lies. Somebody doesn't love you. Somebody left the family to be happy. Somebody got their own justice. You still want to play and have fun, but you're, you, somebody's a super bitch about it right now. Tell me about this queen of wands. This is karma. This is karma coming back at somebody who tried to manipulate somebody. I knew I was feeling it somewhere. Yeah, see the Six of Cups trying to, it, it's done. It's a wrap. You can't have that new stat for those who are manipulating something. Nope. 
the universe got you. You're only gonna be heartbroken. It's gonna it's gonna come back around. Whoever's doing tricky shit is 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 no good right now. It's not going to work. All right, like this is you're in all the IONs, illusion, delusion, confusion. Twenty four, twenty four. What did I say I was gonna name this video? <laughs> I already forgot. Spiritual meaning of twenty four, twenty four. I want you to be patient. Wait a little longer. There's bigger plans for you. Things just need to fall into place. Okay. Please go look that up yourself because there is a whole bunch. And you're going to know your situation. But they know what's truly important to you. But sometimes what this is saying too, you need to come first. Some of you are not coming first. Okay. Um, so I wish you guys the best. Okay, I, I need you guys to take care of yourself right now. I'm sorry for the confusion. It was quite the um, quite the read with definitely two or three different scenarios, two for sure. Okay, it could, like I said, be one, and it's the past coming back around, but it's not coming back around right now. Nothing's gonna come out of this situation right now. Somebody's holding on to something that's an illusion. It's a beautiful illusion, but it's an illusion. So I'm sorry. But if you're trying to manipulate something to benefit you, it's going to backfire. Okay? So, I wish you the best of luck. I love you guys. Watch your other signs, okay?